This is a live look at Mazatlan in Mexico, where we are just seconds away from totality. You're looking at a, a CNN Espanol reporter who's uh, going live for the network there. And on the right-hand side, you see the shade that's been cast, the shadow that's been cast, as we are just 48 seconds now from totality in Mazatlan. Really an incredible moment for uh, millions of people across North America. It is just stunning, this idea. And there you you see they're getting so excited as it's starting. They think it has started, but it hasn't fully started. There's still 30 <laughs> seconds left. And what they hopefully will be able to see is these tiny beads of light as this moves across, the shadow moves across Earth. These uh, beads of light coming from the sun's rays on the valleys of the moon. It should be hopefully amazing what they see there. There is just a tiny sliver as we are now four, three seconds away from totality. And here we are, the first totality for this total solar eclipse hitting Mazatlan, Mexico, as we speak. It looks like dusk there. A lot of folks with their phones out. You hear cheering and celebrating a unique moment in this celestial dance we get to experience. And this is the first moment. They will be experiencing this in Mazatlan, and then it is going to move through Mexico, up through Texas. We have reporters through Texas as well, all the way here through Indianapolis, and this will move with the course of the next hour or so. It's going to be amazing all the way through Canada. Yeah, let's uh, take a moment to absorb this. Let's listen in. seeing an extraordinary sight here and this is what we talked about the moon as we see it is bigger than the sun so as it passes uh, between earth and the sun we are seeing this amazing corona of the sun including what appears to be a solar flare there on the lower right hand side we are wit we're witnessing a, a moment unlike any other this doesn't happen as far as we know, just about anywhere else in the universe, according to the experts that we've just talked to. And you heard the crowd there celebrating in Mazatlan, moments of, of joy. You saw children running around smiling. You saw people with their phones taking pictures. I heard people yelling in Spanish, look at the, the eerie horizon because the horizon is still lit up. And these are now the rare special minutes of totality uh, where you get about four minutes of this sight that you won't see anywhere else. And that doesn't just happen. Uh, it is rare and obviously a, a very special moment to reflect on uh, how lucky we are to join in this experience together and to be on this earth where magical stuff like this happens. It really is amazing as we are watching this from Mazatlan, the first stop in this zone of totality. And we're also getting this experience of how the weather is interacting mm. with the solar eclipse because you can see as it is coming in and out the brightness of the corona of the sun of, of what we are seeing illuminate behind the moon and there you see it that effect that that diamond ring as it comes back out after the totality 
the sun was affecting it. So we were seeing it more clearly and less clearly. Wow. Yeah. Look that, at that. That was quite a sensation. Even just watching it on the screen, it felt special and it, it, it still does. It feels amazing uh, to witness this. You're right about that diamond ring effect. You see like that sort of eerie glow and then there's like a pop on the edge. Uh, and that's what we're gonna witness here in Indy. Uh, I want to say in just about an hour or so from now. Yeah, that's right. And it won't be quite as long, yeah. right? In Mexico, they're getting quite a show. But also to put into perspective for folks, one of the reasons that this total solar eclipse is so fantastic and that we're making such a big deal out of it is that even the shortest totality is longer than the longest totality in 2017 people will just get an amazing chance to see this because of the positioning of the moon in its orbit at this particular time. Uh, let's go now to Torreon, Mexico, where we're about to witness another live moment of totality. Is Gustavo Valdez there for us? Gustavo, what does it look like? It as, as we, yeah, well, we're just checking out the irony here is that this is a desert. They rarely get the cloud cover we get in today, but it's not too bad. We'll still be able to see what's happening up there. You can hear the people screaming. I'm putting on my glasses so I can look up and give you uh, an idea of what we're seeing. You can see just that sliver of the sun peeking through the moon as, as it comes across. And uh, a few things we have experienced already. And the first thing we've noticed is the lower temperature. It cooled down significantly and another thing we were talking about earlier about the birds and we we've, we've been noticing how all the birds from this area seem to be flying back to their nest in fact you see those two pigeons there they came uh, back uh, a few minutes ago and certainly they're confused unfortunately the uh, state government decided to put a big generator behind us so we cannot hear the birds on the microphone but we can hear the noises you are also hearing the crowd cheering as they see what everybody's seeing through their televisions what they're experiencing here people i mean school work got canceled so so, trying to see if we can see a little bit of what the, the, the cloud cover it is. Polo, si les puedes mostrar uh, el sol. Uh, let's see what it's looking like. It's a little bit, uh, like I said, there's a big uh, cloud cover, but not too bad. We can still see the edge of the moon. The question right now is going to be once we reach to Tidally in a couple of minutes, if we're going to be able to see the full ring, let's hope that the clouds do not interfere with that experience with this tens of thousands of people who are waiting like everybody else to see this event. Uh, like uh, we've been saying, the, there are people here from all over the world. They are experiencing this. The scientists, you know, the, the images that, that you have on screen are from NASA. Uh, they got lucky, all the scientists got lucky that Torreon happens to have a telescope that is pointing to the sun all the time. So they are able to cover uh, this event and uh, for everybody else to see and now let's try to take a look and I think now the lighting is completely changed for the show the people because now the light is a different color it's uh, actually it's very clear the, the, the way I, I don't know how to explain it but it's basically as if somebody in darkness turned on a light and let's listen in because now people are starting to cheer more as to tell you, and I'm changing here my glasses so I can experience with everybody else. And yes, it's almost, it's almost there. Uh, like I said, the cloud cover here might prevent us from seeing the ring, but we are seconds away. If you want to just uh, remain quiet as we reach the peak, and you can hear the crowd.
is beautiful. This is an amazing sight.